It feels amazing, it really does. It, I still sometimes struggle to put it into words. Um, the work that we've done over the last four years since the 2015 World Cup, the journey that we've been on has been remarkable. And I think as a team, we've, uh, we've started to create something where, you know, hopefully for the future, people will start to, to think that we're, we're competitive going into tournaments. It's not just a one-off. And I think winning the World Cup gives everybody a, a huge boost. And I think in the nature and the fashion in which the final was played, it, I, think, I think it's brilliant for sport. Sport needs it sometimes. There's, there's, regardless of what the sport is, I think it's, it's fantastic for the game. Yeah, I, th I think there's mixed emotions in the in the change room simply because there's so many different characters and different characters respond in different ways to moments like that and, and other moments as well. But I think having watched back the game a lot, there are moments in the game where we handed the game to New Zealand and they handed the game back to us and then so on and so forth. And it, it happened half a dozen times. And there's, there's some significant moments in there that, that do change the game. Um, which, you know, it, for instance, the, the, the runs that came off Ben's bat and uh, Trempol's catch that, 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 that he uh, stepped on the boundary rope, they're, they're big moments in the game that you know, could have gone either way. Um, and in the super over, what, a, what an over. It's incredible. I think it had everybody on the edge of their seats. Um, so, yeah, we're thankful that we won. Trevor has been exceptional in, in what he's done and the transformation he's seen the team go through has been extraordinary. I think certainly having taken us to, to World Cup victory is, you know, it's a, it's a huge moment for us as players and to have Trevor at the helm leading things and, and, and directing things is, is, is awesome for us. Uh, he made the decision when he, when he decided to become England coach that that was the journey and that was the timeline that he was going to hopefully have an impact and he's stuck to his decision which you know it, it really does sum Trevor up because he's, he's a very strong character, he knows when he can add value and, and when's the right time to go and I think the future for him is extremely exciting, you know, he's at the IPL at Sunrises Hyderabad and I'm sure he'll do a fantastic job. Just, you know, his, his record at Calcutta was amazing. His record with Sri Lanka is amazing. His record at New South Wales was amazing. So there's, there's no doubt that he will continue. I think as regards the team, I think we have to keep continue to try and get better and better. <clears throat> you know, winning the World Cup was extremely difficult. We played some of our best cricket, particularly in the semi-final against Australia. Uh, I think that was our best game probably over the last four years, against a really strong Australian team. And then in the final, obviously, an extremely competitive one just proves that there's not a lot of difference between the top four teams in the world. So we need to continue to try and get better. Ben is a true hero. That's the best way to describe Ben. And I think this summer for Ben has really epitomised the guy he is because he's a huge carer, he loves playing in a team environment, he always gives more than he takes and to have somebody who is so good doing that all over and over and day in day out really does create a good atmosphere within the team. Uh, he works extremely hard, he's always trying to get better and I couldn't think of a better person for, for a guy to, to put in a performance like that in the World Cup but also in the Ashes in that third test at Headingley, uh, just the, the best test match innings of all time. 